Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Midnight Run. What do you know about this movie? Robert De Niro, and it's a comedy, buddy cop comedy, I think. Never heard about this movie, but it was extremely recommended. I mean, it's been recommended constantly since we had the channel. Yeah, and we do have like a playlist for Robert De Niro. We're running through a lot of his movies like we've done with other actors. So I'm really excited for this. I, there hasn't been a De Niro movie that I've been disappointed in, and this will be something completely different than what we've seen so far. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Oh wow, that's interesting. Oh. Ooh! So lucky. Cut him off though. Oh! <laughs> this is partner? He's mine, Jack. Get lost. Fuck you! Oh! I said I'm taking him, alright? Alright, This guy's worth 1200 So... Bounty? They... Yeah, I think they're bounty hunters, not cops. Margaret, what's up? <laughs> mother ever teach how to react to strangers not shoot at them okay so this takes an entirely different turn oh yeah hey marvin thanks for the car did you give me any trouble fuck you man <laughs> that other guy is not gonna be happy <laughs> no especially since he got his car stolen it was a pretty good payday though it's 1200 come on yeah yeah you're right <laughs> damn trying to screw him already you never do i detect some kind of sarcasm here never <laughs> Jonathan Marzoukas. Embezzle a couple of million from some Vegas wise guy. Is this Serrano the guy that ran you out of Chicago when he was running things back then? Oh, okay. You give up being a cop to do this shit. Damn. Serrano vanishes this guy and I'm out 450,000. Oh, shit. How much time you got left? Friday midnight, I default. I eat the 450. There you go. There's your midnight run. If you don't find this guy, I'm out of business. I'll do it for 100,000. 100,000? Are you out of your mind? It's either that or you go out of business. It's 100,000, no more, no less, and I want a contract. Contract? What's wrong with this watch? I need to see the booking slip of a Jonathan Mardukas. I'm sure it's definitely helpful that he has these connections. Yeah. The number he called right after he was arrested. Looks like I'm going to New York. Alonzo Mosley, FBI. Yeah, right. take your hands off. <laughs> Pretty aggressive uh. FBI. Are you working on anything having to do with Jonathan Mardukas? Never heard of him. <laughs> I'm going to bring him into federal court, and I don't want any third rate rental thug who couldn't cut it as a cop. Hey! Hey, the sunglasses. Good. Oh! Thanks. Thanks for this, too. Oh, shit! When do you swipe that? I don't think you look anything like Alonzo. <laughs> Oh, but he's fixing that. Went to a photo booth. How's that? Fine. To me. To me. You Jack Walsh. Damn, he can't go anywhere without a group of people coming up. Really interested in your visit here. Oh, yeah, who are the people you work for? No friend of yours from the Chicago days. Uh oh. You here for the Duke? You think he's in New York? And we think you're right. He'd pay a hell of a lot more for the Duke. Yeah, how much more? How about a one with six zeros? Ooh. Oh, shit. That is a lot more. Here's my number, Jack. Here's for Tony Darvo. Tell Jimmy I said hello. That's a huge payday, but I don't know if he wants to work with Jimmy. Million dollars, though. Sorry, buddy. You're going back to Jimmy. Maybe the FBI will pay two million. Just everyone just throwing money <laughs> at him. We would like you to come down tomorrow morning to 26 Federal Plaza. Just ask for Agent Alonzo Mosley. Get her out of the house, maybe? So that he can check it out? But why would he send her to Mosley? I don't know. Just to fuck with him? Dana, it's Helen. The FBI just called. They want to speak to me. Mm. Hang up the phone, Helen. Right now. Damn. Oh, sweet music. Oh, so Oh, cool. dang. Was that intentional to make the sounds different for each number? I don't know. Probably. I mean, like... Specifically to be able to just hear. Trace it. Yeah, so this is definitely not a buddy cop movie. No, <laughs> we were very wrong. This is a 
bounty accountant <laughs> movie. <laughs> well, technically we haven't even seen him yet. Right, so far it's just a bounty movie. All right, this time don't get shot at. So is this her house? I think this is the house that uh, the number probably called, maybe. Mm. It's interesting that he decided to just go in without knowing anything. I mean, if he heard his voice. Looks like there was some uh, luggage by the front. Maybe he's planning on going somewhere else. I don't know, man. Be super suspicious. Well, that's almost the FBI. You're under arrest. Get this fucking dog out of here. Don't move. I'll shoot you right through the glass. <laughs> Put your left hand behind your head. Put your left. That's it. Well, that was, that was easy. Super easy. The movie's gonna be over in no time. Fuck with me once, and I'm gonna break your neck. I can't fly. Uh, no, no, you're gonna have to do better than that. Oh, is he on a no-fly list? Stuff of maybe a phobia. What does that mean? Yeah. It means I can't fly. Macrophobia and claustrophobia. Damn, that's a lot of phobias. From fistophobia. <laughs> Sounds like a road trip. Right? You got him. The Duke, he's standing right here. You got him. Already? Jack, I love you! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Is this the FBI, or... Be in your office by midnight tonight. All right, I'll see you later. Are you nosy or are you <laughs> in on this? What's that all about? Jerry Walsh got the dope. This calls for a celebration. I'll get some donuts. I think there's a lot of interested parties. I assume he's working, yep, with these guys. Mm. They should arrive around midnight. Don't forget me, babe. Yeah, 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 kid, yeah. Man, you didn't even have like a deal or anything? You didn't even remember your name. They'll be flying into LA around midnight. Half a minute at the airport. Couldn't let him get dropped off and paid. <laughs> right. Can I take your hand? And is this first class? First class is nice. Oh, I can make a habit out of this. But look, he has all that space. Yeah, this should help with his phobia. Do you think I haven't heard your story before? Who do you think you're traveling with a fucking novice? You know what I'm talking about? Is he just gonna start screaming or yeah, something? I don't know. What is he gonna do? Fly with me. Come. Fly away. I don't think you're getting off this plane. He's gonna need to cause enough of a disturbance. These things go down. All right. These things go down. Right. They go. It's just too big. Oh. Oh no. You can't take a prisoner aboard an airplane if he doesn't want to fly. You should know that. I thought he was bluffing. I suggest you find some other mode of transportation. What? I just knocked him out. That's what I was thinking. Like, you, you didn't have some, like, NyQuil handy? Oh, I meant physically. Oh. <laughs> Still gonna make your schedule? I'll make it 14 hours to spare. Damn, that's not that much time to spare. No, but they won't be at the airport. That's true. And no one knows that yet. You know, why would you do that? Oh, you'll enjoy yourself. This is my room and that's your room. Good night. Well, he's claustrophobic. <laughs> Sucks for him. Special Agent Mosley, FBI. A role you guys named Mosley? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> he left with an Agent Mosley. Sir, that must mean that Walsh has your identification. <laughs> no shit. What do you think I'm gonna do? Jump off a train moving 90 miles an hour? Probably. Jack? Jack? He's never getting any peace. <laughs> right? Thanks a lot. Oh, good. Time to something else? It's, yeah. Fucking criminal, and you deserve to go where you're going, and I'm gonna take you there. Forgot that he was a cop, so like he has like the... The morals to... Yeah. But not my account. I realize I'm not your account. Yeah, you're a shitty accountant. You just steal money. How the hell could he miss the goddamn plane? He called from the airport. Time to bring in Marvin. Oh, Marvin? You know who Jonathan Mardukas is? Eddie, you never heard of him. Find him, I'll give you what I'm giving Wall. Yeah? What's that? 50,000. 25,000. 20. <laughs> My name's Carmine, fucko. Yeah, well, Carmine, today's your lucky day. Let him go? The Amtrak office, Grand Central Station? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that now. Damn. Yeah. That was super easy. Maybe we ought to cancel that card, huh? Ooh. Oh. That was so smart. <laughs> I'm assuming this guy isn't carrying around a bunch of cash. <laughs> They're gonna get kicked off this train or Maybe, something? Maybe, if they can't pay for anything else. You want to outline a complete balanced diet for you. This is one of the most annoying characters. Well, why would you do something that you know that's not good for you? 
because I don't think about it. Well, that's living in denial. I don't think I get caught. Now, that's living in denial. <laughs> you were a cop in Chicago, and you must know all about Jimmy Serrano. Yeah, intimately. You're dead within 24 hours, so sooner or later, I'm going to have to give you the slip. $2, that's all you're going to leave? This fucking guy. Damn, already here? Well, at least they're in the rooms. Yeah, I'm looking for this buddy of mine, Jack Walsh. She's in bedroom D, next car. People just give out information <laughs> like that? Cancel credit cards? Without any question whatsoever? Even there still? Yeah, where is he? Oh. One word and you're dead, asshole. Oh! Jeez! Son of a- Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! the FBI! Place this man under arrest! The fuck are you talking about? That's a nobody! Oh. I wanna call the cops! <laughs> oh my god. Mosley, you're on a train now. <laughs> Another bounty hunter was arrested after he tried to take Mardukas away. I assume they got off at a certain point, once he found out it was so easy to be found on the train. Where's Jack Walsh? Oh, he got off with the other guy. His real name's Mosley. <laughs> I'm Mosley! <laughs> you have ID to prove that? Where are you? You got the Duke or what? You, you're damn right I got him. We're getting on a bus. Bingo. Just wanted to let you know we're on our way, okay? This is, uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> I don't know which one came first, but... Listen, uh, maybe you ought to get some donuts or something, huh? Planes, trains, bus. They were on a bus on planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> <laughs> it went plane, train, bus, and then car. <laughs> Two one-way tickets to Los Angeles, please. Uh oh, his card. Right. I'm sorry, sir. It's been canceled. It's been canceled. canceled. Shut up. Would you just try that again? No. All right. She tried it like four times. Jack Walsh. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Please try this once more. Jack Walsh is not the name on that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you said the right name first. Would you like me to call the FBI? Or would you like to pay cash? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Special agent, most the FBI. Rax, just want to ask you a few questions, that's all. Fucking A, help yourself. This guy's so over it. <laughs> what do you know about Jack Walsh? Quite a lot. Hates his guts. I'm sorry you're hurt. I'm not hurt. You said you were hurt. I'm not hurt. I asked you if you were hurt, and you said, yeah, I'm hurt. Well, here come two words for you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I hate this guy so much. He's, Do you? He's so annoying. Sir, what do we do with this guy? Let him go. You think he'll get back on the case? Oh, yeah, for 25000 You know about secondary smoke? You can give people lung cancer. So much funnier that I know he's annoying you so much. <laughs> I don't know how Jack is doing this. Pan the ass this guy is. Thought you were putting it out. No, I'm not putting it out. Why aren't you popular with the Chicago Police Department? He does not stop, though. <laughs> Sydney, relax. Have a cream soda. Everything is going to be all over within a few minutes. A few, few minutes. minutes? They have not done a good job staying hidden. Oh. Oh, man. This is a ton of firepower. You're just going to shoot him right off the bus? Yeah. In front of all those people? They already, oh, Ooh. he's right there. Ooh. Saved his life. Personating an FBI. Agent Foster Grant. <laughs> Alonzo, aren't you gonna thank me for doing your job for you? Oh, shit. Oh, they went for it? Ooh. Yeah, I'm surprised they started firing. This helped them out. Fighting with each other. You're getting shot at. Fucking run, idiot. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming, come on. Maybe uncuff him. Oh, he took one of their cars. <laughs> they got a tap on Moscone's line. Now they know. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Give him some false information. We're gonna get the stolen FBI car. I'm sure it's low jacked or whatever. What's that for? An inside joke between me and Alonzo. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mess. It was a real mess. They've got a tap on that line there. Sydney, but... shut your fucking mouth. Listen to your lawyer or whoever this is. I'm gonna get on a fucking plane and I'm gonna blowtorch the both of you. Do you understand? 
What happened with the pencil? He's escalating. <laughs> Don't say a fucking word to me. I'll get up and I'll bury this telephone in your head. <laughs> Where are, oh, they're in Chicago. Oh, you think they went to the exes? Yeah. I mean, they don't have money or a car. Nine years, the first thing out of my mouth is going to be, can I borrow a few hundred bucks? It's going to be very good for you. I disagree. <laughs> Who are you guys? Who are you? How you doing? Are you all right? Yeah. Aw. Can I come in for a few minutes, Gail? Yeah. But it's her husband home. Yeah. I just need to borrow some money to get to LA. Were they already there? I don't know. You look beautiful. You don't look much like a criminal. I'm a white collar criminal. <laughs> <laughs> the first funny thing he said all movie. Then we'd really be in a lot of trouble because I'm afraid I'm a little short of bribe money. All right, Jeff, don't start. Oh. How is Lieutenant whatever his name is? It's Captain now. Oh. Captain now, huh? Borrow oh, some money so I can get this guy back to LA and I'm out of this miserable fucking business. Oh. Oh, no. his daughter? Yeah. Denise? She got so big. Nine years is a long time for a kid. Sorry, I'm gonna go now, I'm sorry. No, hold on. Oh, I like Gail. What grade are you in now? Eighth. Are you in the eighth grade? I'm gonna cry. So, uh, does he take good care of you? That's all I wanted to know. So what's he gonna say about this? He'll understand. Yeah, it's, it's love, you know. Bye, honey. Jeez. I'm sure it's hard to find the words to explain where you've been for nine years to your daughter. Damn, that was sad. Wait. Isn't much about Oh. I can't, I can't, sweetheart. Babysitting money. That was so sad. Moscone, bail bonds. Jerry, Jack, put Eddie on the phone. You're gonna throw him off? You think? He yeah. knows, right? I'm in the lobby of a Howard Johnson and I'm wearing a pink carnation. What the fuck are you talking about? Probably been up for like two days. They stink of B.O. <laughs> Go to Chen Lewis. I'll call you there in five minutes. They can't run a tap that fast. So long, everybody. <laughs> he doesn't like to fly. What the fuck does that mean? Got kicked off the plane. What the fuck is going on there? Don't start with me now or I will shoot him and I will dump him in a fucking swamp. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Why have five hundred dollars to Jack Welch and Amarillo, Texas, right away? Get Dorfler down here. Find him and get him down there too. I'm gonna go get donuts. Ba -da 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 Boom. Ninety-three bottles. Of no, come on, man. From ninety-five to ninety. Why were you so unpopular three? with the Chicago Police Department? Because your personality? Probably because he wouldn't take a bribe. Close to this guy, big heroin dealer in Chicago. Fellow officers mysteriously discovered seven pounds of heroin in my house. Wow. Get on the payroll like everybody else, get out of town, or go to jail for 30 years. That's why I do this. I don't have to worry about anybody taking a payoff because there is no anybody. It's just me. Did you get yourself a new watch? I assume the watch is a gift from his wife or daughter or something like that. Someone special. You can have your whatever you're going to have. I'll have this. What can I do for you, boys? Coffee, please. Can you afford coffee? How much is the coffee? It's 53 cents. How much is tea? 53 cents. Love <laughs> Chorizo and Chorizo. eggs. Yum. Comes with hash browns and toast. I won't be having that, thank you. Oh, it sounds so good. About 500 bucks, I'll buy you a nice juicy steak or whatever you want. Chorizo and eggs. <laughs> I had a way out of this, you know. What's the thing Serrano's most afraid of? Yeah. Going to prison? Ooh. Going cross country with you. Why, why, don't you just, just why don't you just leave that heroin dealer alone? When I found out I was managing accounts that were friends for Serrano, I couldn't just sit back and do nothing. Pretty similar. Were you on my side then? Yeah, I was. Then why aren't you now? Doesn't matter to me because I'm getting my 100000 any which way you want it. I mean, if he's such a risk, he can still get the 100000 get him to the FBI, he can give all of his information to the FBI, and everyone gets taken out. True. There they are. Man, a helicopter? How you doing, Jack? Oh, shh. Give me Sanji's regards. What are you staring at? You gonna propose? <laughs> oh, fuck. Trap him. I said trap him, assholes. Perfect timing. She's gonna take him. <laughs> you know who you're fucking with? No. Why don't you tell me about it? Make sure you're speaking to the microphone. <laughs> oh. Marvin, Marvin. Oh, very clever, Jack. <laughs> God 
damn it. Come on, both of you. So smart. <laughs> Why do you want to kill this guy? Don't you read the papers, knucklehead? Great dodge. Get after him. I forgot they had a helicopter. <laughs> Get a contract? Yeah, I signed it on Monday. You called me in Pittsburgh. You said you were fucking this thing up. Oh, no. I'm not fucking anything up. <laughs> you should have been in L.A. two days ago. Hey, Marvin. I thought he was going to say how much. Right? It's not yours to take anymore, whip dick. He's mine. Did you hear that? Oh, God. Now, who the fuck is this? I don't know how you fight this. You guys are the dumbest bounty hunters I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh, almost at the helicopter. You think we lost him? No. no I don't oh. see anything. Oh, I'm sure we're completely safe. I can't even hear him. Oh. Where the hell did you come from? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, he hit the keys. <laughs> were those the keys to the station wagon that he threw away? Threw those away. Always check the evidence, Marvin. Those are car keys. <laughs> oh my god. That goes to 100 grand. <laughs> Why? What was he gonna pay you? 25. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dude. No. Swim down. Whoop. Oh. Oh, what the? Uh... Holy shit, Jack! You got him! <laughs> I don't know what I'm about... Oh. <laughs> I don't know a lot about helicopters, but... Is that... <laughs> is that how that works? Uh, that was very aggressive. What the hell are you doing, Jack? Sorry, Marvin. Oh, you're staying there for a while. Man, did they even get their $500? No, they didn't get it yet. <laughs> They're gonna have to go back, maybe. Or hitchhike. Yeah, no money, no car again. <laughs> Some rough rapids. I'm slipping, I can't hold on, give me a hand. Like a branch or something? Promise to let me go? What? You promise to let me go? Sure. All right. Robin, I'll let you go. Thanks for saving my life. Thanks for letting me go. You also saved his life like 30 seconds ago. I'll let you go, all right? The second you're in L.A. County Jail. <laughs> you're gonna stand there with your thumb up your ass, or you're gonna get me the fuck out of here? <laughs> Is this gonna upset me? Yeah. I think it's safe to say that. Uh, it's a kind of a fried potato. But it's yeah, he never got his chorizo and eggs. Hey, you think you could give us a ride to the next town? Sure, jump in the back. Thanks a lot. I understand the problem with you two. The guy's a fucking accountant. I thought they were on the helicopter, but I realized they were not. <laughs> I'm not interested in seeing either one of you two alive again until you get the accountant. Yeah, I'm surprised they took a trip to Vegas just to talk to him. Watch out, chickens! Oh! <laughs> a real town around here someplace? Shannon. How far is that from here? 30 miles. Oh man, they're in the middle of nowhere. Get back in the river? Seriously. Oh god, really? Can he fly? Is there a bathroom in there I could use? Is he gonna try to slip away? <laughs> yeah. Glad you're having a good time. <laughs> oh, he's starting it. Uh oh. You better run, better jump on this thing. Better fly, you son of a bitch! I forgot about that. About what? His fear of flying. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Fucking liar. Ooh. Get on. I'm gonna fucking appropriate your head, goddamn! How do you turn the fucking thing off? Oh. Ooh. You better get in and get seated. Uh-oh. Yeah, watch out, chickens. Give me the keys to the truck. The Give me the keys to steal their truck. You just try to steal their plane. Watch, Give me shit. your watch. Oh. Yeah. Take it. It's worth uh. a lot of money. 
That was chaotic. You lied to me first. You got some fucking nerve. No, no, you lied to me first. Yeah. Fear of flying was first. Technically, the FBI was first. <laughs> so as far as you knew, you lied to me first. I can't even argue with you. I don't even know what the fuck you... <laughs> you drive to the next town. I'll take care of it. You'll take care of it? I'll take care What do you mean you'll take care of it? He's probably had money this whole time. Yeah, give me the FBI, bitch. I'll cuff you. I'd cuff me. Eat. There's a plan here. I'd like to see the manager as soon as possible. Yes, sir. <laughs> Tracking a ring of counterfeiters passing phony $20 bills across the state. Would you mind opening the register? You're doing the litmus configuration? <laughs> These are counterfeit, all right. Seen any suspicious looking characters around here? No. Do you live around here? Hmm, <laughs> mm, suspicious. This one's bad. About six feet tall? Six five. Dark brown hair. Light colored. <laughs> Sounds like our man. Got all the details wrong. Are you red? Yes, sir. Do you dye your hair? No. Why do they call you red? Uh, my last name's Wood. What's your first name? Bill. Bill Wood? So your nickname's Red? <laughs> <laughs> it was a good plan. I mean, they just robbed that place. <laughs> I mean, he's a criminal, so he, he robs everyone. Catch this train, come on. I can't catch a train. You also couldn't fly. <laughs> I can't do this. Don't drop your food. <laughs> Those are some strange FBI. Oh, no. Oh, oh dude. I'm gonna fucking fall. See you in the next life, Jack. Train's going? <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know anything. Is that a fact? <laughs> Why don't you quit? It'd be cheaper for both of us. Just stealing <laughs> all of them. Alonzo mostly. We're seen hopping on westbound freight train. Jack? What? Which further do you think we have to go? None of your fucking business. Pretty accurate. Did you ever have sex with an animal, Jack? There's some good looking chickens there, Jack. Yeah, a couple of them might have taken a shot at me. It worked. What is it with the watch? You told me about your, your feelings for chickens. <laughs> now, Gail bought me this watch. She bought it because I was always late, at least a half an hour, so I set it ahead a half an hour so I'd never be late. <laughs> Keep thinking we're going to wind up together again. Just get yourself a new watch. Under different circumstances, you and I probably still would have hated each other. <laughs> You want your cigarettes back? And you're gonna have to go to Flagstaff to get them. Because that's where your pal Mosley went. Wow, thanks for the information. The only important thing about me to you is getting your money. The reason I do this shit in the first place because I wouldn't work for that low-life asshole. Yeah, that's what the payroll was, wasn't it? He didn't know that. He didn't know it was Serrano. That's the guy that's gonna kill me? Oh, it's a wonderful coffee shop, Jack. Make him think. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> you get it started and I'll run you over. That's the best plan I can think of. <laughs> I don't like anything you do to tell you the truth. Nothing. Oof. Where are we going? To the nearest airport. Now that he can fly. Uh oh. Take the chop. They need another river. This is the kind of situation where something bad happens. Ooh. Jeez. God damn it, I don't like this. Oh my god. How are they gonna get out of this? As a bounty hunter, he's not like allowed to just break all these laws, right? No, I was just thinking that. Like he's super fucked with how many crimes he committed. Oh. You're in a truck. Time to go off road. There you go. Where are you going, Jack? We'll find out when we get there. Oh, God. You've come too far. I'm too close. I mean, you're still in Arizona. <laughs> yeah, you still have quite a ways. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Jeez, what are these cops doing? <laughs> oh. 
Oh shit. He's doing so well. Man, these cops just obliterated themselves. Marvin's a smart guy. Is this Marvin? No, because I mean, what is he in the helicopter, right? Hello. Am I lucky or am I just good? Is that Marvin? Hello, Jack. You dumb shit. <laughs> Pulled the same shit. Wait a minute. Get out. See you in LA, Jack. Yo. Oh no. The accountant's gonna wish he was still with uh, Jack. Shit. Yeah, I don't even know what he does next. Oh shoot. Oh. You will. Keep. Uh -oh. Uh oh, Mosley. <laughs> Gee, I've been looking all over for the <laughs> very serious fear of flying. Well, why don't you just relax and sleep through it? Oh, that's what you said. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna spend 10 years for impersonating a federal agent. 10 years. How come no one's after you? <laughs> Give this guy his call. Have a little privacy, please. Or nothing's private in this office. This better be good news, fucking Jack, because you got five hours left. That's it? Slime ball in the sea of bus! You ah, what? You blew it. <laughs> Where are they? He, I thought he's bringing them to you. I just talked to fucking Dorfler. He don't have the Duke. Oh, he's going, he's going to the mob guys. Oh, shit. I mean, a million dollars is a lot more than a hundred thousand. So you think they contacted him too? Yeah, probably. Oh, the Please, lighter. The, the, or the, yeah, the matches. Matchbook. Hey, Tony Davo there, please. Who's calling? Marvin Dorfler. Oh, Marvin. I want the Duke back. So what the fuck you telling me for? I got some of the Duke's belongings, including some computer disks out of every la- Oh. There's money laundering operations, everything. I'm gonna turn those disks over to the feds. Do you hear me? They're all listening. <laughs> After he's busted, I'll make sure to let him know you knew all about it beforehand. Good story. Hello, Alonzo, I want to make a deal. Oof. Hope his deal frees. Freeze, uh, whatever his name is, the accountant? Yeah. What would you do if I could deliver you Serrano? Will you let me take the Duke back myself and collect my money? <laughs> to tell you on the way, because we got to be in Las Vegas in two hours. Oh, man. Everyone's meeting up. Marvin? All right. Yeah, I don't know. No, say cheese. Conspiracy to obstruct justice. Anybody packing a gun, conspiracy to commit murder. The racketeering rap on him right away as well. Damn. I'll get him to take the discs. Get a wire on this man. <laughs> He's about to become an FBI agent after this. <laughs> hey, no hard feelings about uh, what happened back in Amarillo, huh? You didn't even know who you guys were. Slight change of plans. Now I want two million. What? Oh, damn. I'm a businessman. <laughs> How do we know you got him? The Polaroid. I want one million now. Then I'll tell you where he is. Not okay. Why not? <gasps> oh. Did the Polaroid give it away? You got the answer right in your hand. What are you talking about? Look. Oh my God. <laughs> Marvin, you've been so smart this whole time. Soon as I get the discs from Walsh, you guys drop Walsh and you drop the Duke. Oof. In the airport? The guy's a fucking burnout, Sydney. Hey, Sydney, sit down. Should have listened to Sydney. Why are you smiling? I feel like a cop again. <laughs> oh, man. I stopped by here to tell you two things. Number one is that you're going to die tonight. I'm going to find your wife. And I'm going to kill her, too. Ooh. There's so many people. You guys are super obvious. Doesn't look like he has any discs. How's your mother? She's all right. Daughter's getting big, everything growing up. <laughs> Listen, Jack, you got uh, those discs so that you uh, lose them like you lost your job. Give him the discs, boss. If 
I don't see the Duke in about five seconds, I'm walking. Get the guy together. What do you Fuck say? Fuck you. I'll see you at the arraignment. You won. What do you want me to do? Yell it all over this fucking airport? Just show the Duke. This thing is going to give me a heart attack before it's all over. Don't do something yeah, stupid. Yeah, don't panic. Doesn't it bother you that another copper is fucking your wife? Keep cool. Can you imagine that? Go we'll figure it out. Minimum captain. This is real bad. Uh, don't do anything, Jack. Can I help you, sir? Oh, Marvin. Oh, shit. Marvin's gonna fuck this up. Okay. Oh, no. How will you be paying for this, sir? Oh, fuck. Approaching the subjects, get him out of there as quickly and as quietly as possible. Shoot him at the end. <laughs> Shoot him quietly. Give the discs. The fuck are you? What are you writing a book? Who the fuck are you? You dumb son of a bitch. Get out of here. Take up. Wire's gone. Oh, oh fuck, Marvin. If we even got it. Did he take the discs? I don't know. He took the discs. Let him go, Jack. I always got the discs. Oh, and they Marvin. came here. Marvin, 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 look out, look out, follow that shit again, you're crazy. Marvin. Serrano's got the discs! Serrano's got the discs! Move in. Hey, 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 hey. Oh! There's something I've been wanting to say to you for 10 years. Oh, yeah, what's that? You're under arrest. <laughs> See you in L.A., Marvin. Now, watch your cigarettes with this guy, Jack. An hour and a half to get you back to L.A. Thanks, Alonzo. There are the discs. <laughs> he knows they're freaking blank. <laughs> There's no way. That they're going to make it in time? No, he's not going to be able to do it. Unless he's half an hour early. No, I mean, inside, he's not going <laughs> to be able to do it. This guy must smell so bad. I know, right? It's been like five days. Feds picked him up 20 minutes ago. Never trusted that guy anyway. <laughs> Hello. Hello, you son of a bitch! <laughs> now say goodbye, you lying little piece of shit, because I'm letting them go. Oh. I did what I wanted to do, John. I got you to L.A. before midnight. He did it. I don't know what to say. No, and you, you make me want to put those back on. <laughs> Something oh, to remember wow. our adventure by. <laughs> so suspicious. How much money? It's not a payoff, it's a gift. For the watch. You son of a bitch. I know you had money. I didn't know you had money. <laughs> How much? Thousand dollar bills? Are those real? <laughs> neighborhood of 300,000. 300,000? A very respectable neighborhood. Yeah, I didn't know a thousand dollar bills existed. I have a two dollar bill. See you in the next life. See you in the next life. Aww. That was so sweet. You know what time it is? Uh, 25 to 12. I would have made it. Has the satisfaction of making it. Satisfaction of taking down Serrano. Got 300,000. You wouldn't have change of a thousand, would you? What are you, a comedian? Get out of here, you bum. <laughs> now he has too much money. Put that away. <laughs> Looks like I'm walking. <laughs> All right. That was Midnight Run. What'd you think? That was great. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was a ton of fun. There was like actually a good amount of like heart yeah. in the film as well. Robert De Niro and Charles Grodin, I might be butchering that. <laughs> they were fantastic together. I hated the Duke so much. He was so annoyed. <laughs> you were so annoyed with him and I was not I mean, realizing how annoyed you were. <laughs> everyone was annoyed. Jack was annoyed with him. Marvin <laughs> couldn't handle like 10 minutes with him. <laughs> God, he was frustrating. <laughs> what else is he gonna do? Yeah, I mean, sure. If you're on a road trip to essentially the end of your life, yeah. who who cares? <laughs> um, but I mean, they did have a great back and forth. They clearly ended on a very sweet like note of a clear like friendship that, hey, maybe in another life, they actually would have been real close friends. Yeah. They clearly are both good people 
the only bad thing about Jack cop wise was that he wasn't dirty. That's yeah. the only reason he's not a cop. Yeah. So we know how good of a person Jack is. Sure, he's breaking all of these laws to get back the Duke in time. And then we know the Duke, like he had no idea who he was working for. He thought he was a legitimate accountant. And then the second that he found out that he was working for a criminal, he probably did what he was most qualified to do, which was take money. He's not gonna bust in and arrest the guy, but his skill set is money. So the most damage he could do was steal as much money as he could and give it straight to charity. He still took probably a good amount of money, but you could say that he was a good person also. Yeah, they definitely seem to have more in common the longer we were kind of getting to know them. Yeah, exactly. Um, I liked that we were getting to know Jack and the Duke through their conversations with each other. Like we didn't really have a lot of background either. No. Um, it kind of just jumped right in. Got a little background on Jack about like his bounty hunting and everything, but everything with his family, uh, a lot of the background with Serrano, all of that, it all kind of came into play from his conversations with the Duke. Right. So I thought that was really cool. I know that uh, during the film, and I was feeling it too, there was a lot of comparisons to plane trains and automobiles. Yeah, I don't know which movie came first. Yeah. But it was ultra similar, not in the story, but just in the transportation aspect. Like they went from a plane to a train, to a bus, to an automobile, back to a plane, back to a car. Like, <laughs> Yeah, they were jumping everywhere, going cross country, but obviously this was much higher stakes. Right, this was uh, the stakes of a whole criminal organization type of thing, whereas the other ones, the deadline was Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, so the Jack Duke relationship was definitely my favorite part of the movie, but one of the saddest scenes for me in the film was when Jack and the Duke go to Gail's house. That was so sad. And especially like as we come to find out kind of everything that went on and then Gail marrying this captain who's totally corrupt. That storyline definitely was sad and it hit you hard for sure. I mean, losing her to a corrupt cop when probably the biggest source of their breakup was him losing his job or something like that, which he lost it because he's too good of a guy. Terrible situation for him to be away from his family for so long, especially when his daughter ran out with like the babysitting money. That was so sad. Like it was already sad when she like came out and he like hugged her, but for her to run out and offer essentially her life savings to him was so sad. Yeah. And for him to have been holding on hope all this time that maybe they could be a family again. Yeah, it was just sad because also Gail seemed just like a good person. Obviously, she had shitty taste in men uh, <laughs> with this new guy. Yeah, and we didn't really have uh, a resolution to that, really. I guess the biggest thing you could say is that the conversation with the Duke about, hey, time to find a new watch, kind of like time to move on. Yeah. She's clearly in a happy relationship and a loving marriage, even though he's maybe a corrupt cop. And he gave the Duke the watch. He gave the Duke the watch. So that was kind of his acceptance of moving on. Yeah. But you still have like the idea that stuff will turn around. He clearly probably very impressed the FBI. Maybe there's an avenue there or something, uh -huh. but he has a ton of money and more than he needs to start a dream business of a coffee shop. So who knows? Maybe if you're in your reality of the movie, he goes back to wherever they were, Chicago or something, starts a coffee shop and at least, you know, has a relationship with his daughter. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, that's what you can kind of think of, of him walking off in the LAX sunset. He did really <laughs> like getting to be a cop again. Yeah. With the FBI getting all wired up. So he could also take that avenue. Yeah. But he has all that money now. <laughs> so, so, no. <laughs> he could do his coffee shop thing. <laughs> I really liked the Alonzo Jack storyline too. Yeah, the side characters in this were great for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, there were a lot of great characters in this, but Alonzo just getting wrecked by Jack using his <laughs> badge for the entirety of the film was a great running joke. Oh yeah, just every single time the other two FBI guys would come up and Alonzo would just be like, Oh, this is gonna be bad news. I'm glad that it all kind of came together at the end. Yeah. It was definitely a very satisfying movie. I mean, the Duke gets to go free, Jack gets his money, 
uh, Serrano is in custody. The FBI got exactly what they wanted. The shitty bail bondsman guy got fucked. Like the traitor bails bond, whatever assistant guy. Donut guy. Donut guy. He got taken into custody. Everything, you know, worked out exactly as you would hope. And it actually ended without like a big firefight or anything like that in the airport. That's true, yeah. For a second, I was a little worried about Marvin. Yeah, Marvin was another excellent side character. Yeah. But he did almost fuck it up in the end. <laughs> Marvin annoyed me more than the Duke. <laughs> he was just always in the way. Obviously, he was, you know, there to be kind of like a thorn in Jack's side. Right. But damn, he was just always there. Like, just like an annoying little gnat. <laughs> And he got taken into custody again. So I don't know, he'll probably get his cigarettes stolen by Alonzo or something. <laughs> but yeah, a super satisfying movie. It had so much too. I mean, we had this road trip aspect. We had these two main characters that were just constantly butting heads, but it had a ton of great comedy. It was this also like cat and mouse chase with the FBI and stuff. And then it had also like the deeper mafia storyline of like taking down a, a crime organization. It really had a lot going for it. Yeah, no, there was a ton, just like a very in-depth story. But I honestly, I feel like the actors, the characters, that's what like made this movie. Yeah. Totally random, but I was gonna say, maybe we did see a thousand dollar bill in Die Hard 3? Oh, really? The Die Hard where they're in the Federal Reserve. I don't know why I had like a flashback in my mind that I was like, have I asked this before? <laughs> if thousand dollar bills exist? Yeah, I kind of vaguely remember that too. I definitely did not know that thousand dollar bills existed. Yeah. If I did, I had forgotten that information until seeing them again here. I had a suspicion that he had a ton of money. Yeah. I thought we were going to get that reveal at some point in the trip or something like that. But for nope. it to wait all the way into the end, that was great. Especially how it was given to Jack. It wasn't a payment. I think that was a great touch. Yeah, no, I mean, that was something really nice for the Duke, because the Duke knew. I mean, he tried once. He tried and said, I'll give you a hundred grand or I'll give you 200 grand right. or whatever it was, he was escalating it. But as soon as he knew the type of person that Jack was and he was learning about him throughout, he knew that Jack was not gonna take that money. Right. Um, so for Jack to have let him go under his own free will, and then the Duke to then give him the money, it was nice. Again, just a super satisfying movie. Yeah. Like it ends on just such a great note for every character that you're rooting for, essentially. I am curious to see, or I guess, or find out what would happen to the Duke at this point, because Technically, he wasn't let free. No, he's still committing a crime, I believe. Like, he still is skipping bail. Right, he's skipping out on bail, and then there might be another case against him in New York with the FBI, and in LA it was something, something else. else. I don't, I don't know. know. He's gonna have to be on the run, for sure, which is probably why when Jack turned around, he was already gone. Like, he's gotta go quick. He's gotta get his wife and get the hell out of the United States, probably. Yeah. He's a smart guy though. I think he'll be totally fine. I mean, that whole um, FBI scene with him to do the counterfeit money yeah. to get some, like he was very quick on his feet. So the Duke is, is totally okay, but, but he's still on the run. I mean, maybe he'll make a deal. Maybe he will actually have those discs and give the discs yeah. to the FBI make a deal. Yeah, I mean, if he still has the knowledge to make them, mm -hmm. then sure, he can still do it, and then there, there's his solution with the FBI. Yeah. And then he gets a new life with uh, witness protection. He can go be an accountant in some small town somewhere or something like that. Yeah, or on some island somewhere. This was definitely a different role for Robert De Niro than we've seen. I think we've yes. mostly seen him in a lot of gangster stuff, like Taxi Driver, Goodfellas, Casino, Casino, uh, Raging Bull, like some very dramatic, dark, difficult Deer stuff. Deer Hunter. Deer Hunter, yeah. We've seen a good amount of Robert De Niro, and this one was a fun one. Like it's still Robert De Niro, yeah. like still with like the same kind of look, but this was the most fun movie we've seen with him so far. Yeah, which is a nice change of pace. <laughs> but always a great time watching him, and I feel like I would love to see more of De Niro and Charles Grodin. Looked kind of familiar. I couldn't place it. He just had a face that I was like, I feel like I should know this guy. And we looked it up and it was Rosemary's Baby. 
Yeah, you know what? I actually, I, when I put this on the schedule, uh, I remember now there was a patron comment that said we may recognize him from Rosemary's Baby. I forgot until we just looked it up. Um, I think that was the only movie that we recognized him from. Right. But yes, how could we forget? I mean, I definitely would not have known unless I looked it up. Much different character. Yeah, but now it, it clicks for sure. So he went from a real shit doctor who kind of sold out Mia Farrow in the end to a real annoying asshole in this movie uh, with some charm at the end. So I'll give him that. <laughs> um, maybe 20 years. Yeah, or like so. a, yeah, probably like 20 year movie difference, something like that. Yeah. But this was a ton of fun. It was definitely a unique movie for Robert De Niro for us so far. Um, so I really enjoyed it. Me too. I am excited to explore more De Niro, but it was nice to have a break from some of the intensity <laughs> yeah. of his other films. So a lot of fun and uh, great to see Charles Grodin in a better role. Right. Yeah. Not so evil. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.